Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, um, you know, I was getting sick and tired of having Paula Malov dish soap in the background and a loaf of bread in the background and a box of cereal in the background. So I flipped. I, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at the old wall where all the history was made. What, what, what? Another wall, another blank wall, you know, with, 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 with some stripped paint and a name, my name here. But other than that, you know, we're here on True School Sports grinding away, giving you guys a hopefully videos that you are enjoying out there. So make sure you hit that like, hit, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy BT. But we're gonna talk about Deontay Wilder because as I'm making this video, it is currently May the, May 17th. 12.46 a.m. here in the greatest city in the world, and that is Dania Beach, Florida. Um, and Deontay the Bronze Mount Wilder, you know, he's, he, we're, we're just over a day from his fight against Dominic Brazil as he makes, uh, as he looks to fulfill his WBC mandatory obligations and defend the belt against Dominic Brazil. But speaking of the WBC, the WBC uh, was not happy with Deontay Wilder's recent comments. They are very frustrated about how Wilder stated that Basically, he wanted to kill Dominic Brazil. That he wanted that body on his record, and he and he said this before. And it's funny because he's I, I was actually there fight week when he said this about Stavern uh, in the rematch, and there was not really much of a fuss made about it. But for whatever the case may be, I think now that he's saying it again, you know, I, for some strange reason, it's getting more attention than it did when he fought Stavern in the rematch. But um, here's what happened. So basically, Gracio Suleiman got wind of these comments and he said that those comments were regrettable and i'll read you guys what he said in regards to this in the comments down below he said i quote i have seen deontay wilder's comments which are regrettable and completely against the spirit of our sport i have known wilder for a long time and he is not the person he portrays in such comments his metaphors are against the code of ethics and we'll, we'll be addressing this in a hearing so uh even if he wins this fight wilder that is you know I highly doubt the WBC is going to go ahead and strip Wilder of the belt because let, 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 let's just call a spade a spade and let's have it right here on True School Sports, okay? Deontay Wilder has gotten, you know, on, you know, I can name, I can, I, off the top of my head, I can name you at least one occasion where he's gotten preferential treatment by the WBC. And for those of you who watch this video, you can name other uh, times where he got preferential treatment by the WBC. But, like, he... They basically, if you guys remember, Luis Ortiz was posted by Deontay Wilder on November 4th, 2017. Then there was the whole pain medication scandal. They removed Luis Ortiz from the rankings. They got Wilder an opponent, which was Stavern, which actually broke their own rules because the WBC rankings state that if you've been, if you've been inactive for over a year, uh, a year or more, you had to even be removed from the rankings. Stavern was almost inactive for two years, and he got a title shot for it. Um, so they have given him preference treatment, and then Ortiz got reinstated, and he eventually got the, um, you know, fight with uh, Ortiz down the road. So, you know, we've seen many times before that the WBC is no stranger to uh, giving him preference treatment or maybe even being in cahoots with Deontay Waller. So I highly doubt, I'll be honest with you, I highly, highly doubt that Mauricio Suleiman, despite his comments here and despite, you know, this... This uh, this posturing of being stern towards Wilder, I highly doubt that he's going to actually do anything. He's not gonna suspend Wilder. He's not going to, you know, um, strip him of his title or anything like that. Because if 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 these comments are really, you know, um, regrettable, as he says, regrettable was really used, then you know there would be some serious repercussions, and they would strip Deontay Wilder of the belt. Um, if 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 the comments make are, are that disgusting to them now they're not going to do that but if they did how crazy would that be for the heavyweight division you know um you know Deontay Wilder would no longer be able to fulfill his witness protection program um and he'd actually have to have to fight the, the creme de la creme of the division to have a title so you know I'm not sure and I'm not really you know holding my breath on the, the WBC stripping this guy of his belt or or giving him any sort of significant repercussions for his statement, you know, and to be, to, be, to, be, to be quite honest with you, I'm not even that mad about his statements. I mean, I know it's wrong what he's saying about killing a man in the ring, but, you know, he's not the first fighter that said things like this. You know, Mike Tyson said the same thing back in the day, and he gets, he gets applauded for it to this day. To this day! <laughs> like, uh, like Wilder would say. But, um, you know, this, he's a fighter, man, and, 
and and he's a he's a very confident, well uh, outspoken fighter, and you know he really wants to hurt Dominic Brazil. Uh, whether he whether he does or whether he kills him or not, you know that remains to be seen. But I mean, I I, I kind of saw Brazil. Brazil had an interview, but Brazil said like. If you wanted a body on your record, it would have happened already within 40 plus fights. If it has happened already, it's never going to happen. So, um, you know, Deontay Wilder, he's, he's in a very spirited, um, you know, fight with Brazil coming up in less than, uh, just over a day from now at the time I'm shooting this video. Uh, Brazil's trainer, Virgil Hunter, said that the Wilder's comments were very irresponsible. And, you know, look, I'm not, I'm not against it. I, I actually think, I'll be honest with you, I might be the minority here, but I think Wilder's comments, Good for good, bad, or indifferent. I think it's good for the sport of boxing to have to make comments like that because even though you don't want to see anybody get killed in the ring, and I don't, I, I don't wish that on no man. I hope both fighters come out safely. Whether, I'm a, whether, whether you know, even though I want Brazil to win and I want Wilder to stop being witness protection, you know, I want, I, I, I want to see both these guys get home safely to their families because the fight game is is a brutal, unforgiving game, and it'll beat you to your knees and leave you there and leave you with nothing if 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 the opportunity happens. So. I'm just hoping that for Wilder, he can, um, you know, go on there and, and do what he has to do. And same thing for Brazil, do, 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 do what he has to do, and they come out the ring safely. But um, it, it is good for the sport because it it brings attention to the fight, and it brings more eyeballs to the fight, and people will, more people will tune in to watch the fight. And if Wilder and or Brazil deliver um, on what figures to be a fight that should be, that should end in a knockout, then one of their stocks are gonna rise and they'll be able to continue to move on and press on with their career. So the comments, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with what, what he wants to accomplish within the comments, you know, as far as killing Brazil. But it's part of the promotion, it's part of the fight game. And you know, the fight game is, it, Frank Bruno said it best, the fight game, the sport of boxing, it's show business with blood. And when you talk about being in an industry where it's show business and blood, you talk like you're bloodthirsty. And Wilder is talking like he is bloodthirsty. So. Um, We'll have to see, man. I, I, I'll say this. If the fight goes six rounds or more, I think it's going to be the fight of the year. I, I, really, I really, really do because Wilder has incredible... I mean, when we talk about both these fighters, Brazil is a top... In terms of raw power, I'm not talking about overall as a fighter, but I'm talking about in terms of raw punching power. These are two top five um, punchers in the division. You know, I would say Wilder is clear-cut number one, and I would say Brazil is either number four or five in the heavyweight division. So it's, it's, it's a good fight from that standpoint. Um, but I... I don't think and I don't believe WBC is going to do anything about, you know, Deontay Wilder uh, losing his belt or, you know, having any sort of serious consequences for a statement that they say is regrettable. So we'll definitely be monitoring how the WBC handles this moving forward. Um, I'd be very surprised. I, I actually gain a little bit of respect for w the WBC because out of all the sanctioning bodies, them more so than any other sanctioning body, you know, they have a lot of clout in the game. They have a lot of skin in the game. They're one of the old... I believe they, they might be the oldest sanctioning body. But, um... You know, they, they make things up as they go along all the time. All the time. I mean, look, look how they treated Don, uh, Dillian White, who's been uh, Wilder's mandatory for years now. Um, look at how they... All of a sudden, you know, they get Lomachenko to fight for a vacant belt, which I'm not against. I mean, I, good for him. He, it, it, it gets closer to undisputed lightweight, but at the same time, it's like... We've never seen that before, and they could have done that for other fighters, and they chose not to do it. So, you know, they pick and choose, they make things up as they go along. And um, as a sanctioning body, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of gray, er gray areas with the WBC. So, uh, I'm not going to speak too much more on this, but there will be some sort of hearing, I guess, after the fight. And they will be discussing, discussing this, and, and they're saying that th th this is regrettable, and that, you know, Deont Deontay Waller... Um, made a statement that it goes against complete ethics of them as a sanctioning body and them as the WBC. So we'll be monitoring this as it moves forward. We'll definitely be uh, monitoring Wilder versus Brazil as it gets closer. Um, just for those of you who are wondering, I will in fact be live for the Wilder Brazil fight. So expect a very spirited and very fun live fight reaction. We, we will have my dad here. Uh, we may even have my main man, Alex. So I know for those of you who are, um, who are fans of Alex, he'll be here as well. So it should be a really fun life I reaction. Make sure you tune in to that, to that when it does happen. And hopefully we get like a lot of views and just, it's just a great life I reaction. But uh, yeah, let, let, let me know what you guys think about in the comments down below about the WBC. Basically saying that they're gonna have a, uh, th his comments, his killing comments are going to be reviewed at a hearing. 
Uh, that's what Marisha Suleiman says. So yeah, leave your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dane. So until next time, take care, guys.